Hello, good day friend. Today we'll talk on C sharp 8 switch expression. This was introduced in C sharp 8 version. So if you are using C sharp 7 or 6, you will not be able to use this. You have to use C sharp 8, beta or C sharp 8 or C sharp 9. Okay. So let us see what is switch expression. We all have used switch statement in our uh, programming. Now, the switch expression is similar to switch statement and it's in expression context. Now, what do we mean by expression context? So, I'll explain that. And another thing is that switch expression is very concise in syntax. So, that was it. Uh, so, let us see one switch expression. So here you see, I have taken day of week, that is the today's day, what is the today's day of the week and then I am trying to uh, get different kind of greetings based on the day of week. So if it is Monday, so I will be getting hello, if it is Tuesday, I will be getting hi, if it is Wednesday, I am busy and in case of other days, that is the default, I will be getting anything. So this is uh, this example is just to show you how the switch expression works. Okay, now you see that uh, these are case like day of week dot Monday day of week dot Tuesday is similar to like the case statement which we have in switch statement. And these are the return value hello hi hello. okay sorry the spelling mistake okay. Now the return type has to be same like it should. Uh, See, I am always returning string. I cannot return string and integer together. So, let us see a comparison between switch statement and switch expression. Here you see, like in case of switch statement, which is at my left hand side, uh, there is a lot of comparatively a more codes, whereas uh, in the right hand side, comparatively lesser code. Uh, we don't have break, case, and all these are understood. Okay, and many more you can do. Uh, like here, not only just uh, day of week dot Monday, like you can get a greater than, less than, all these things you can do, which you cannot, uh, I mean, you, uh, nowadays you can do with the when switch on statement. You can check my videos, uh, switch on statement. But uh, yeah, so that's what is very in a concise format. We can do it on the, uh, with the switch expression. So let us see this in action. So I am here in Visual Studio. This is a console application, and the version I am using is Visual Studio 2019. This is sixteen point eight point three. Uh, so I have the updated version of C sharp. Now, yeah, let me start with a very simple uh, example of switch expression. Okay, so. Nice. So let me first take a variable integer type, okay, like that. Now, what I wanted to do is assign another variable based on the value of variable a. Switch, okay. So you see, it's going like this because it's taking the switch statement actually. So we don't need this, and then it is not there. Now, if it is one. I'm telling return one. It's a string format. So if it is two, return two. And 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 then if it is anything else that is the default, we can say other numbers. Okay. And then this is a B and this you have to this as this is an expression, that's what. It's the an expression, okay? It's not a statement, so you have to finish it, finish it with a semicolon. And let me put that. Uh, so let us see what is the value of b. So let me run it. And you see, this is one. So as I'm passing one, so one is being returned. Now, if I pass two, and if I run it. We get 2. If I pass 3, 
of course we should get other numbers let us see that other numbers working nice now the question is uh, what if if I want to uh, check the greater than and less than that is also we can do if it is we can do it greater than 5 will be passing uh, more than 5 like that more than 5 if it is greater than 10 and will be passing uh, more than 10 like that now you see visual studio is giving me a warning or a uh, i mean uh, error so what it is telling that the pattern is unreachable okay it has already been handled like, i mean anything greater than 5 uh, like uh, 7 of course uh, or may think of 11 it will be handled by this it will never reach here okay so that's what the question is uh, you need to handle uh, 10 here first and then 5 here so if it is like 7 it will not go here it will come here like if i put 7 it will not go here it will come here if i put 11 then of course it will go here okay like that so uh, i just have to correct this one 5 and then 10 like that so let us see this So more than 10 as i'm putting 11 it's more than 10 if you put 100 it will also be more than 10 so that is what the good part we can do that this is also can be handled in some other way like you can do it like that when uh, a square 2 uh, greater than 10 okay like here i am doing uh this like this and then say okay now it's pretty clear probably to you what i'm exactly doing three i'm checking two times a is greater than 10 then go here three times a greater than five go go here like it is very helpful in a situation like this like say probably you have a let's say list okay say list of integer list of uh, something some product or, or some data okay now probably six like that okay now uh, what you want to do that you have to check that when list dot count uh, greater than 10 then i want to do something or when list dot count uh, list dot any so if a uh, so that if there is so list dot any I mean better it it's go up first so if it is uh, can check like this now I have to pass the list here okay so if list uh, equal to equal to null so uh, you do this if it is not equal list dot any if there is that that means if it is empty okay uh, so then you do some other things and then uh, if it is if list dot count mm, count is greater than maybe you know uh, five then i'll do this uh, maybe get to the 10 first as we are doing that and then if it is greater than five like that it will happen so first i'm checking if it is now then i'll do something uh maybe uh, don't do anything Do not do anything like that. List dot any mm, still do not do like that. Like some action probably. Now the question comes uh, greater than four ten maybe multiply by uh, two. If it is more than five, multiply by three like that. Okay, we can you can do that. Now remember this return type always should match okay if i try here something else like 100 you will see it would give me an a that c yeah no base type was found too so because if you see this is gold question mark like uh, the compiler doesn't understand what what type should be assigned to this okay mm, now that's why or be, this is because of var if you do you can say okay why don't you put string here 
then it will be then you will get error here that you must return string okay like that now this is how it is now the question is what if, if you just not required to return one thing what if you need to do a do more line of course like to fetch something then to do some computation do some checking and then how do you do? so that's where we can also use function here so if i go and write a font function so like here we can do it like that so return, uh, maybe what is it so yes some value we can return from here also so that, okay, that we can do as well you see it will go it's make it string and the good part you see this is still doing good okay because i'm returning string and what if will happen if I try to return integer from here and you see that we started getting error okay first of all okay, this is because I'm returning so let me make it this will go but this is the compiler is parsing the code and it's finding that there are some conflicts that's why it's giving error here that you cannot return integer from one uh, um, arm that it stayed uh, tell it like switch expression arm okay okay and uh, the other cannot be uh, like uh, string that cannot happen Every, everything has to be string okay like that so okay now this is the case now perfect uh, now how what will happen in case of a function like this like say uh, say a uh, awaitable function Uh, sorry, no, sorry, not have it. Yes, okay. uh, this is an avatar, so let me return a task, okay? Task of string. Okay, so I'm returning string. And uh, to simulate the threading behavior, let me do this delay, okay? Let me make it a two second delay. Nice. Now you see, uh, we started getting error again because this is a returning task. So we can handle this by uh, it, but uh, yeah, our main is also a task, that's perfect. So you see, that's it. There is no problem at all with this. So you can still be able to handle this. So I can show you quickly. Let me go to a more simpler one. And then we can do, uh, maybe I can do it using this one. Again, personal. And we'll see what is coming. So we can. Uh, Okay, it's straight away throwing error because this is null. So what I do, uh, let it be. Sorry, okay. Uh, it, and then I will go. Maybe this is six. It will come here. Uh, okay. Yes. So this is how it is. And if I run it, it should be. Uh, it should be going there. See. It is, it's it's in delay it's taking time and it came now i'm getting one one from here so if you see one two three if i do we will be seeing the same thing it will wait for uh, okay so this is in very nutshell about switch uh, expression you can do many more things with this so like what let me show you one more thing like the dictionary case of a dictionary so you can see uh, like that Menu. Say let's take a dictionary. Okay. A very simple dictionary. Yes, I'm going to do Okay. Now let me put dictionary. So value to it. Okay. So put one comma hundred like that. These are different keys and values I'm putting into it. Okay. Two hundred and two hundred. Okay. Now one thing we can uh, do here. That is, we can check uh, like dictionary dot contain some key or not. Maybe, maybe I need to get a value of a uh, with a key. So let me I'll put two, and I want to check whether this dictionary first of all first of all has the key or not. I can do this. Do do this now. Key done. Now this will return boolean, true or false. Okay. Now, we can check if it is true, then what do you want to do? 
we have to get the value. So we know the value is there. So it will not throw exception. So it will there. Uh, if it is false, that means all other cases. What we want, uh, we want you to re we want to re add that. Dictionary dot add uh, key and uh, with a zero value for, for that. Now it remember this is comma. We don't we should not put this is not a uh, this is not a uh, expression. So we shouldn't put uh, this um, semicolon at the end. Okay, now this the thing is that see this is throwing a there. The reason because I am the return type. Uh, there is a mismatch in return type, so you cannot do this. I can do the zero thing here. Okay, like that. Now let us try this. So I am putting two. This is so I will get two hundred back. Let me run this. See, that's the case. Okay. Now if we, I put anything like seven, in general case. If you try to access uh, key uh, which is not present in a dictionary, you will get exception. But here we can avoid that and get zero. Okay. Now let me show you one more thing. Like uh, we can of course do, we can of course use ternary operator here. Like instead of using switch expression, uh, this can be simplified in this form. Like if it is true, then like this we can do okay you can you can add uh the thing is that yes of course you can do but here is the catch like uh also we can extend this like let me show it to you uh switch and then you can do this okay and then here you can do like 100 then you can return maybe you wanted to multiply 8 with uh, 5 100 like that um, maybe this should be returned as it is okay. so if it is 100 then that if it is 200 then it will be multiplied by 3 and if it is anything else will be returning always will be returning maybe one like that so you can do things like that as well yeah you see uh it's zero because seven is not present so if i make it two it should be 300 So that's how it is. Now, what if we need to use a switch statement here? We would have to do this, and then we have to come here, and we would require to do this. Case okay, equal to hundred, and then you can do something. But you see, it's giving me error. Okay, so. So this is the validity like switch expression you can use inside a ternary operator okay uh, let me also show you one more thing like if what if, if i take a nullable integer i wanted to show you can i use switch expression with null uh, coalescing operator like with this and say a is equal to null okay and all i'm saying if a is null, I wanted to. Uh, if a is uh, not null, then fine, you get the value of a. If a is null, based on a value of say c, I wanted to do some computation. So I can do that. Switch. Okay, so I can do. So I can pass c switch. Okay. And then I can do it. Okay. Now here we can do things like this. If uh, it will get a clarity, so it will get like that. Okay. Now you'll get the better clarity switch. So if switch is one, you do this. You um, I mean do then as it is an allowable int, so you need to do it like four, maybe one, 
or maybe 100 you know like that five is then put zero 200 is to like just for uh example purpose okay so if a is null not null then get the value of a if it is null then get this like this numbers and i see two so i'm getting 200 so in line i can use switch uh if i make the value of a is say five You'll get the value of a so this is how uh, you can use uh, switch expression also with null coalescing operator so this is in a nutshell about switch expression uh, thank you for watching this